You know, I think I'm starting to need a haircut. And I don't mean this. I mean what you do, you trim, you use the hunk up, the Bushmaster Pro, the best below the waist groomer. Yeah, I, they sent this to me a while back and it's time to talk about it. Uh, I have not taken a shower yet and I have not used it yet. So we're gonna get real in depth, real up close and personal with the hunk up Bush Master Pro. Let me show you what comes inside the box. It's pretty nice. It's a trimmer, but it's for down there, you know, for trimming whatever you want to trim. You can trim back hair, chest hair, armpit hair, whatever hair you want to tr trim that's below your neck, you can use this thing. This thing is huge. Look at this. This thing is really big. I've got a smaller trimmer that I use, and this one is much larger, but it's got more functions. It's got a couple of uh, uh, guards here and it's rechargeable comes with a little brush you can clean it up and the cool thing is it's got several different adjustable things like I said there's two guards down there so you can get the hair as long or as short as you want but then on here you can do it even further there's like a built-in plastic guard there and he goes from one to five and you see the little symbol there or for your you know chest or whatever and so that's I mean this thing has got several different possibilities for what you know, how short you want the hair to be when you're done. And it's got different uh, modes for speed. So let's turn it on. So you, that's at the, so here's the highest level. You press this, or you can go to the middle or low, depending on whether you're scared or not of this, of whatever you're trimming. And uh, this is all safe for work. Uh, so don't worry about it. I'm not gonna get dirty or anything. You can also play music. And you turn it off. All right, well, let's get to work. Let's start trimming. So there you have it. The hunk up, Bushmaster Pro. Yeah, sorry if that got a bit graphic there. I know, uh, I, I think, I think the camera was working. I'm, uh, there were some glitches or something. Anyway, I hope you got a good, uh, uh, anyway. <laughs> All right, enough silliness. No, so thanks to the uh, to the people at, uh, at Hunk Up for sending this to me. Uh, it's $69.99, normally $89.99. Now, $69.99 is a bit, uh, bit pricey for a trimmer. Um, but this one does a lot. It does a lot more than uh, the normal trimmer I use. It's got these different, you know, blade settings on the back. It's got these different heads. Uh, on the top, and it's uh, it's waterproof. It's IPX7, so you can it's water resistant. You can do it in the shower. You can wash it off afterwards. You just take the top thing off, wash it off down here in the water, and you're done. And then the next time you oil it up. But anyway, that is a serious trimmer, man. So if you're in the market for one, you know, $69.99 is a bit much for my taste, but maybe not for you. But it, it works well. I like the fact that it has those different power settings. And it's easy to tell how much juice you got left. You got 96% left. It's rechargeable. It's water resistant and all that stuff. So check it out if you're in need of trimming that body hair that you don't like. All right. Now let's shave this. Coming right back. Well, hey, folks. Let's shave, shall we? Okay. I haven't been giving my friends over at Executive Shaving any love recently. Except for their after shave, which I would use in a lot, the foire aux snog. So I figured I would use some of their products today. Executive shaving, their little brush. I think this is the Maverick. It's a synthetic. And I'm going to use the foire aux snog shaving cream. The minty in the, the glass jar to let you know it's quality. Ooh, this thing's heavy though, so don't drop it on your foot, man, because you, uh, you will regret it. All right, I'm going to get a little bit out of here. I took a shower and I did my hair, as you can tell, my, I, I, I don't know, Chris Isaac, he wants his hairstyle back. All right, let's lather up. We're still right in the middle, getting towards the end of No Shave November. I, I, I thought about shaving off part of the goatee and just leaving the, the Frank Zappa mustache, as somebody described it in the comments last week. But what I did was I've kind of visually, visualized myself with the Frank Zappa mustache, with the soul patch. And I don't think it works for me. You know, what I did was this. I kind of covered up just the part that I would cut off. And I don't know. I don't know. I don't, my chin doesn't, doesn't 
stand up to that kind of sc scrutiny, <laughs> if that makes sense. I'm going to use the Rockwell just to get this done. Oh, I love the smell of this stuff. Pepperminty. If you're uh, over in the, in the, in Europe or, uh, you know, countries around there and you want to order something, say you can't get something from West Coast shaving over here in the United States, uh, check out my friends over at Executive Shaving. It's executive-shaving.co.uk and you can use the offer code SINATRA5 to get uh, a discount. And they carry so many different brands. It's not just their own proprietary stuff like I'm using. They have everything. So they're a good choice for if you live, if you're an international viewer of mine. They have razors, shaving creams, and they're very nice people. And I have a, a great relationship with them. It's very nice to work with them. So thanks, Executive Shaving. Now, I used to have their razor, but I sent that back. Not back. I didn't send it back. I sent it to... My pal Andy over there in the UK. So hopefully that's still working well for him. It was a great razor. It rivaled my Rockwell. But there's just something about the Rockwell that uh, just edged it out just a little bit. So I was okay sending that off. This The Rockwell 6S is the one I always use. I know I constantly talk about it. And you're probably sick of hearing about it. Oh, what the heck. <laughs> Alright, second pass. It seems to take so little time now that I'm not shaving my lip and my chin. You know, the, the, the parts of your face that where you kind of have to pay more attention. Ah, oh, this feels so good. Ah, oh, so minty. My youngest one has been in here wanting to shave lately. <laughs> and uh, he was going to use the, uh, the Black Beauty, the 1970 Black Beauty. And we got it all out. We got the shaving cream out and everything. He knows how to use not only a brush, but also Barbasol. And uh, he does the Kevin McAllister thing at the end where he splashes on the aftershave and pretends to scream. But we forgot to do it. We got it all out and we never got around to it. The other day he was doing schoolwork, which is good. I encourage him finishing his schoolwork rather than pretending to shave. But anyway. So yeah, the old hunk up Bushmaster Pro. You really need to... Uh, it's, it, you know, it's kind of an embarrassing subject, you know, trimming, uh, you know, things, trimming your body hair in places that you don't normally talk about in, in uh, public or, you know, in mixed company or whatever. But I, I think it's an important thing and you ought to do it. I really do. It, you know, it'll make you feel better. It'll make you look better. Even if it's just your significant other that sees you, you know, and there's value in that. And that is one heck of a, a trimmer. I know in general, trimmers can be real similar. And, uh, but that's the, certainly the, the uh, most sturdy, heavy duty one I've ever used. Oh, you'd even trim your shaving brushes if you needed to. I mean, that thing will cut down any coarseness, any thickness, any fineness. I mean, you can do your armpits, whatever you want. The sky is the limit. <laughs> so I appreciate them sending that to me. And all the information would be down below. Links to their website so you can buy it. Ah, there we go. Man. It's just something about the simple pleasures of shaving. I don't know what it is. And it became more of a pleasure after I started using safety razors. I mean, before I was just... You know, with the cartridge and getting it done as fast as I could. I was shaving in the shower and the, you know, the little thing was all fogging up. The little cruddy shower, supposedly fog-free mirror that I bought probably at Walmart or something. And it constantly fogged up. And, and it was just a chore and you worried about having to spend another... I mean, every time it was painful, every time I went back into the store to, you know, lay down $24 or whatever for four cartridges... And then once I started doing this back in 2011, I mean, my gosh, what? I'm filming myself shaving and talking to people. That's insane. Every now and then, don't you ever stop? Like, especially if you're a parent and you stop and think, wait a minute, I'm somebody's dad? How can that be? I don't think that ever wears off. I think the same thing, I felt the same way when I got married. I was like, wait a minute, I'm somebody's husband? How can that be? Every now and then you stop yourself and you catch yourself and you kind of reevaluate 
uh, what your life is and where your life is. You're like, how can this be? But uh, yeah, so anyway, thanks for joining me on this weird little silly ride of mine. And I hope that it brings you some pleasure. Uh, I get some great comments from uh, from young men shavers, like, you know, 15, 16 year, old, year olds that are, that, are, that are getting some value out of these videos of mine, whether it's, uh, you know, a, a dad that didn't have the time to teach him or, uh, you know, wasn't there or whatever, whatever. And that's always the most valuable thing to me is if I can help in some small way, anybody, whether it's just listening to me ramble, you know? Oh, that was the final pass, by the way. I always find uh, that's the most satisfying thing. So I hope you know that I appreciate all of you. Yeah, I just wanted to say that. Every now and then you gotta remind people in your life that you appreciate them, that you don't take it for granted. And I certainly don't take y'all for granted. Once again, I hope you're not getting too freaked out by the uh, HD 1080p. I'm only doing it 30 frames per second because I want it to be kind of cinematic. Um, somebody said do 4K, but they also said it would take hours to upload a 4K video. So I might try one 4K video, like a real short one, so it doesn't take a long time. Uh, just toying with the idea. And uh, yeah, so we'll see. I got the new iPhone 12 Pro Max and uh, it's pretty nice. Pretty, pretty good. All right, so there we go. There's the Far Ox Snog. We used that. Oh, I forgot to use the... I was going to use the pre-shave oil. Totally forgot. I wonder if I could put this on my beard. Let me try that. I'm getting a little bit tired of the uh, the saddle smell of the Boss Man Jelly. It's a little much for me. I mean, it works well. I'm wondering if I could use this as my beard oil. Ooh, oh, it was a little bit clogged up because I haven't used it in a long time. Yeah, I think I will be able to. Yeah, let's see, pre-shave oil. Yeah, preparation wash. Hmm, it says wash. What's it got in it? Wash the beard area with warm water, massage a few drops into the bristles, rinse off. Rinse off, hmm. I'm not gonna, well, yeah, you know what? It's kind of foaming up, so I guess it's not good for a beard. Let me wash that back out. That's yeah, it's a good for a try. I like the way it smells. But I guess it's more of a uh, a true pre-shave, not post-shave. Try things out. Even if you think it's not going to work, try it out. Why not? Find out. Oh, I forgot to use, of course, if I'm using the Foire Ox. Not like this. I was going to use the pre-shave pre -shave oil. There it is. Real pro. Real pro here. And of course, I got to use the Nor'easter aftershave. Ain't I a stinker? No, I use the Far Off Snog so much <laughs> recently that it's a whole different scent, whole different minty scent. Still the great, oh, wrong, wrong cap. Still the great menthol feel, the Nor'easter cap by Captain's Choice. Shave balm, I love it. Good stuff. All right, I'm gonna have to use the beer jelly. You can tune out now if you don't wanna watch the beer jelly section <laughs> of the program. So yeah, the Zappa sash, it's not going to work my face shape, I don't think. So, might have a little fun with it. I don't know. You never know in life. I like to keep myself guessing sometimes, you know? Just for the heck of it. All right. Ah, look at the gray. Mm-mm-mm. Years of experience, folks. Hopefully I've learned something in all those years. Anyway. Everybody have a great weekend. Thanks again to the people at Hunk Up for sending this crazy giant trimmer to me. Thanks a lot. Guys, check out the links below. $69.99. Trim whatever ails you, I guess. <laughs> and thanks to my friends at Executive Shaving. Check it, uh, check them out, executive-shaving.co.uk. Sinatra 5 offer code. Okay, end of commercial. End of shave. Love you guys. See you on Monday. Bye.